You know, truth be told, I fish pretty much, you know, a good 30, 25, 30 years of my life without worrying about a jig head color. But what I've figured out in the past year of actually incorporating colored jig heads into my arsenal is that, you know, there's two types of bites you're going to get while you're out on the water. And that's what we're going to talk about today. types of bites basically what i'm trying to get across in this video is when where and why a colored jig head is going to outperform just a lead jig head now y'all know i emphasize just using lead on the channel but you've got to realize that the bites i get are certain types of bites and that's what we're going to deep dive into on today's video so welcome to the channel i'm steven turner i'm your host if you're looking to learn how to catch more crappy put more limits in your boat you found your home hit that subscribe button down below smash that like button if i teach you anything in this video hit the thumbs down if i don't leave me a comment below on your opinion about anything that's said in this video and i'll be sure to get back to you Now, we're, we're going to talk about unpainted jig heads first off, because that's what a lot of people use. That's what I use the majority of the time is unpainted jig heads. But if I didn't have the painted jig heads in my tackle box this year, I wouldn't have gotten, you know, I think about four or five fish that went over two pounds because those days were just really, really tough. Saying just a normal day on the water can't be conquered using just a lead jig head but what i figured out you know using forward facing sonar for so long is that when you have bigger fish that are turning on your jig and not committing you can add a little bit to your presentation to get that fish to come up and actually bite now when you're fishing a dock that has four or five hundred fish on it and you're catching a fish every couple minutes it really doesn't matter what kind of jig head color you have so if you're that type of fisherman i mean yeah you might get a bite faster using that colored jig head but still in my opinion you're only going to get like a 10 percent more advantage if you're using the right color at the right time the right water clarity so right before we hop into explaining all the colors, I do want to, you know, project on the website now, crappymanjigs.com. We are still taking pre-orders for the Master Jig Head Kit. Now, this is the video I wanted to make to explain why this kit is so important. Not only is it going to buy all five of my kids Christmas, and it's taken me probably upwards of 70 hours to do this kit. Every jig head is hand painted by me. I make each jig head one by one. I paint each one one by one. Every jig head is put into my oven. It's cured. So it is chip resistant. It's not chip proof, but it is chip resistant. These are on the website pre-orders. They go out November 26 this little kit is going to pretty much have everything that i keep in my tackle box all year long in case i need that certain color and what you're going to get in this kit you're going to get 16 packs total 16 packs of jigs now i'm cutting y'all a deal because honestly most of these should be going for four to five dollars a pack because painting them is a very very tedious thing and that is why i do not sell them but i figured i wanted to do something for y'all so y'all could give christmas presents out or give yourself a christmas present while being able to buy all five of my kids christmas so what you're gonna get you're gonna get uh regular lead chartreuse monkey milk 
orange, pink, and black 164s and 132s. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12 packs of size six hooks, 164, 132, six and six. And then you're gonna get two packs of 124s, chartreuse and black, and two packs of 116th chartreuse and black. But, you know, this is an amazing kit. It's gonna have every color you need to change it up and figure out that bite. What I'm saying is like a normal lead jig head is fine if the fish are active. Now, if you found a school of fish that just won't bite, going through different presentations of jigs, different presentations of jig head colors, and you can find that sweet, 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 perfect combination, and you can limit out really quick. Now, when choosing the right jig head color, I tend to go for either A, something that's natural looking, you know, not really color wise, but like say you're using a crappy man green, you should probably use a chartreuse head. Okay, so you're using a monkey milk, a white or a black head would just, you know, look appealing, like, like something that goes along and then you got your line. So they're more likely to look at the jig instead of your line. But then if you think about it, if you're using lead, they really don't, you know, focus in on that too much unless they're really picky. So, but then you've got option B where you're using a crappy man green jig with a pink jig head and then they just destroy it. So it, every fish has a different personality and that's, that's really what I want to talk about. Like every fish has a different personality and having different options with you at all times is really going to up your game. So let's talk about colors. What jig head colors that I recommend that you should have as always in your tackle box that you can switch between if you find that really good school of fish that you just can't seem to fire up. Now, as far as colors go, you know my number one pick is always going to be chartreuse. Chartreuse works in 90% of conditions, clear water, dirty water, whatever. I always have something chartreuse tied on, whether that's a crappy man, green, little minnow, little stinker, swim bait, or pairing a chartreuse jig head with another uh, color like monkey milk, uh, pink, uh, goblin, color shift, all, all them colors, pairing it up with this if they're biting on it. Now that's one good tip I'm gonna give you before we, we get into all these colors, because I mean, there's very limited colors. I'm not loading your tackle box full of different colors. Tip I can give you is if you're getting a bite, say you pull up to a brush pile, a dock, and you get a couple bites on monkey milk. You know, that is a white, cloudy, bluish, black dot bait. Okay, now we also do have a monkey milk jig head, which is going to be in those kits. But I'm not telling you to pair that up with that monkey milk jig head, which, I mean, it's a good combo, don't get me wrong. But if you're getting a couple bites that so you, you cast out there, bam catch two or three and then they just stop you're like what the heck why ain't they biting no more throw on like a pink jig head or a chartreuse jig head and it'll be a little bit different and it may pick you up a couple more bites so that's, that's one really easy tip i can give you guys have like a normal lead jig head on this rod catch a few if they stop biting throw out a pink one throw out a chartreuse one and it may put a, a couple more fish in your boat now speaking of this monkey milk jig head i'm gonna pull one pull one of these out this is 257 monkey milk 132s that i've got a bag up for those kits but here you go right here i'm hoping the camera is doing it justice it's kind of like a whitish grayish with a little bit of specks in it and when you pair that up with just a straight <laughs> monkey milk like this is the monkey milk color paired up with that 
it becomes a clear water monster. I use this with the Ergo color, blue ice, uh, El Natural, all those real crisp clear water colors and just absolutely slay them in the clear water. Now another clear water giant that you're not going to you know, here talked about a lot is just straight black. These are all the 1 16th ounce peel heads that's going to be in those kits also. But this is a black peel head. I like to use the peel heads on my pole, uh, my 12 to 13 foot pole. Peel head slides in that water column real gently and you can get it in front of that fish. But black really shines in my opinion in the muddy water i want black on in the muddy water now it will work you know 365 days a year black is perfectly an, an acceptable jig head to have on all the time there's nothing wrong with black i mean a minnow's head and a shad head has black on it so you're imitating the right thing at all times with black that's why on every color on every size jig head we're offering the black now another key color, thanks to Mr. Cleveland, is obviously going to be pink. Now I don't have any painted pink, I don't think, right now. I said I got a lot of work cut out for me in the next couple days. I put a lot of hours already into this, making all these jig heads. And I'm hoping it pays off. But pink, Mr. Cleveland, he puts pink on a crappy man green swim bait and absolutely destroys them on lake greenwood like he just destroys them on lake greenwood so pink clear water dirty water pink is a all good all-around color now another one you're gonna get is orange and y'all know me and orange i got the brightest orange in the business so that jig head's gonna be stupid bright stupid good in muddy water i would not throw orange in clear water myself you can go for it but orange in my opinion dirty water monster if you got a uh, three foot or less visibility you drop an orange jig head with a chartreuse body it's on i remember last year i had some fish in the muddy water these fish would not move as soon as that orange got up there above their head they annihilated it and you're also going to get all the normal ones. You know, 132 and 164, you're going to get just a regular lead pack. And those are going to be good all around. Uh, any time of the year, any day of the week, any time of the day, that one will catch them. Which all the other ones will do the same thing. It just, you've got to, you know, take each day and fish in the moment i'm gonna make a quick video showcasing the colors that it's going to be in this jig head kit um these are the colors that's in my taco box for right now uh that i don't really see the need for any other colors i do have a chrome color that i mess with every now and then but other than that these are in there all the time and i like to do what i call a rotation if i drop on some fish you know, whether I got live scope, side scan, down scan, whatever. If I know there's fish there and I don't get a bite on the first couple throws, I'll pick up another rod with a pink chartreuse black jig head and I'll give that a couple throws. And if they don't bite that, I'm going to the next hole. You got to be more efficient on the water and it's very psychotic doing the same thing over and over. So if you're not getting a bite, change your jig and then change your jig head. Have some different options in your tackle box. I don't want you to have a million jig heads in your tackle box that have some different options, some different sizes to give a different presentation. And I can guarantee you're going to put more fish in your boat. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.